Hello everyone! Welcome to Jojo's Kitchen Adventures. So today I'm going to make aubergine burger. Here are the ingredients and let's get cooking! Where I came from in the Philippines our aubergines are aubergines are very um, skinny and long so they're very easy to cook and we don't usually fry them, we cook it under the grill but this one is big and it will take ages to grill so I'm going to have to fry it now, Let's cut the stalk of the aubergine, cut them in a half then cut them lengthwise Heat the frying pan on high you will need to add the aubergines into the frying pan, add a tablespoon of olive oil, then you will need to toss the aubergines so they will all be coated with the oil. After 5 minutes, we will need to turn them over so we can also cook the other side, then leave for another 5 minutes. Once the aubergines are cooked, you will need to turn the heat off and let them rest. In the Philippines, we call this dish tortang talon. Basically, it's um, aubergine omelette, which we have for breakfast. And we have it with rice and soy sauce or ketchup as a dip. So for the egg mixture, we're going to crack the eggs into the bowl. Let's season it with salt and pepper. Add the corn flour and we will need to beat the mixtures together to get rid of the lumps. Going to beat the hell out of the eggs. Beat them like this. <laughs> okay, our aubergines have been resting for 5 minutes. Now we are going to peel off the skin. We can't put them into the mixture like this, so we will need to shred them or mash them together. After mashing, we turn them into the egg mixture. You will need to mix the mashed aubergine into the egg mixture and now it should be ready for frying. Heat your frying pan on high and add a tablespoon of olive oil. Let's go ahead and start frying. You will need two tablespoons of the mixture for each portion. So after two minutes, you will need to flip them over and cook the other side for another two minutes. So now we are ready to build our burger. You will need to spread the desired amount of ketchup on the bun. Add in your burger, tomatoes, then add some onion rings. You can also add some pickles as well if you like. Now let's add in our melted cheese. I've melted them in the microwave for 30 seconds. And here we go. Our vegetarian aubergine burger is now ready. Enjoy! Thank you very much for watching. I would like to know what you think about the recipe. So please comment down below. I hope you like it and if you don't, you can add more cheese to kill the flavor. If you still doesn't like it, then it's tough. <laughs> um, scroll down below under the description to follow the recipe. Thank you very much.